Here we see a developing sperm with its head still in an indentation of the Sertoli cell. Germ cells are an essential component of sperm. They are responsible for the fertilization of the egg cell and thus serve reproduction and the preservation of the species. In addition to sperm, the ejaculate also contains secretions from various gonads, which promote sperm motility and provide nutrients. Let's take a brief look at the components of the reproductive system. The role of the testicles is generally known. These are egg-shaped and easily palpable structures that hang freely from the spermatic cord in the scrotum. A testicle weighs around 15 to 20 grams, whereby the left one is usually slightly heavier and is also positioned a little higher. The fact that these extremely sensitive organs are located outside the protected abdominal cavity is due to the fact that the core body temperature is too high for effective sperm production. In addition to producing germ cells, the testicles also produce the male sex hormone testosterone. Testosterone plays a key role in the development of primary and secondary sexual characteristics, such as beard growth. The epididymis is located above the testicles. This is where the germ cells mature and are stored. The end section of the epididymis gradually merges into the vas deferens. This 50 to 60 centimeter long muscular tube is the connection between the epididymis and the ureter. Behind the urinary bladder, we see two conspicuous structures whose ducts lead directly into the vas deferens. These are the seminal vesicles. These paired glands produce 70% of the seminal fluid. The secretion contains sugar and therefore serves as a source of energy. It is also alkaline, which stimulates sperm activity. The prostate is located below the bladder. It weighs around 20 to 30 grams and surrounds part of the urethra. The prostate produces a clear, milky fluid that contains various substances such as proteins, enzymes, and electrolytes. A key component of this secretion is prostate-specific antigen, an enzyme that thins the ejaculate and reduces its viscosity, which is crucial for sperm motility and therefore fertilization. Further down are other paired glands, the Cowper's glands. They release their secretions before ejaculation. This fluid is often referred to as pre-ejaculate or pre-cum and is released solely as a result of sexual arousal. The clear slimy substance cleanses the urethra and also serves as a natural lubricant. Let's now take a closer look at the testicle. The testicle, like the epididymis and the vas deferens, is supplied with fresh, oxygen-rich blood by two arteries. The testicle has a connective tissue sheath structure the tunica albuginea. It consists of taut collagen fibers and protects the internal elements that are important for sperm production. Connective tissue cords radiate from the tunica albuginea into the interior and divide the testicle into approximately 350 lobules. These each contain one to four seminiferous tubules, which are themselves surrounded by loose connective tissue. The testosterone-producing Leydig cells can also be found here. Sperm production takes place in the seminiferous tubules. The highly convoluted tubules have a basement membrane with collagen fibers and myofibroblasts. Inside are the Sertoli cells and between them the germ cells. During puberty, the testosterone level rises. This initiates the formation of sperm. As a result of the hormonal change, some of the spermatogonia develop further. However, this is a topic for a separate video. Spermatids now exist near the inner cavity of the seminiferous tubules, which take on a thread-like shape typical of sperm cells. After their detachment from the Sertoli cell, they are called spermatozoa, 
Contraction waves ensure further transport. Myofibroblasts can contract, which leads to a narrowing of the inner cavity and propels the spermatozoa forward. In this way, they reach the epididymis, where they mature further and are stored in the terminal segment. During ejaculation, the contraction waves force the sperm through the vas deferens and push them into the urethra. On the way out, they are mixed with the sexual secretions.